So a friend of mine who I grew up with over in Kentucky sent me this story. We talk politics quite a bit and we compare what's going on over in Kentucky to what's going on here in Tennessee. Uh, they recently reelected Andy Bashir to a second term. So I think they've definitely got one up on us because over here, we have got the absolute bottom of the barrel uh, when it comes to politics. We're an absolute embarrassment on the national stage. And this story that I'm about to bring you is an absolute embarrassment. This is from State Representative uh, John Reagan out of Oak Ridge. He is arguing that we should cut federal funding to feed school children from low-income families and that that money should not be accepted unless it can be proven that it is improving their test scores. He said this, and I quote, the question that is in the top of my mind, that's the main question in the top of his mind here, the question that is in the top of my mind is how we get this money that's supposedly aimed at the most needy and lowest performing students. What is the measure of improvement for this money coming in? How much of it has improved the performance of these students? You know, it's at that point when he made that quote that someone should have just came into the room, put him in a straitjacket, and just wheeled him on out. Because anyone that would say something that idiotic and that harebrained does not deserve to have a job anywhere. I could use words like selfish and greedy, uh, but it wouldn't do it justice. I would have to use despicable, disturbing, and just downright insane that someone could say that. And I take issue with this, uh, with one part of the quote where he says, um, you know, what is the measure of improvement? It's, it's aimed at the lowest performing students. You know, back when I went to school, I went to school with people in Southeast Kentucky who did not have running water in their homes. And they managed to get out of here and make something of themselves and live a good life and, and have a good career somewhere else. They managed to escape. They had food in their stomach, though. I'm not a nutritionist, okay? I'm, I'm not a doctor. I, I'm not an expert. But I just know that all of us performs better when we have food in our stomach. But Tennessee is looking to be the first state that is going to reject $1.8 billion in federal education funding because in the mind of John Reagan, this is wasteful. It's wasteful that we're feeding our children. And I have so many people say to me, man, why are you always giving Republicans such a hard time? Why are you always attacking these, these Christian ideologies so badly? Well, because the hypocrisy is just so overbearing that you can't look away from it. This is the party that preaches pro-life to us every day. We have to hear about how they're pro-life, they believe in the sanctity of life. But when a child gets here and needs to be fed in school, well, hold on a minute. The main question in my mind now, hold on a second. Are, are we wasting this money giving it to feed these kids? They sit and tell us about how, oh, we're so afraid that a kid might go to a drag show. We're, we got to keep them away from that. And yet they have a problem with that child eating at school. They want to sit and worry about what kind of music the kids are listening to, what kind of movies the kids are listening to. Oh, and are they being exposed to anything gay or trans? We can't have that happening. But let's, let's look over here and let's pick at the fact that they're getting food in school. And is that improving their test scores? Well, I just know this much. I know they'll be able to concentrate a whole lot better and work a whole lot harder if they're fed. This is the same group of people who always, always say, what about my tax dollars? Who's going to pay for it? Anytime someone says the phrase, my tax dollars, or who's going to pay for it, it's kind of like when they say, I'm not racist, but nothing good ever follows that. I've never heard anyone say, my tax dollars, and then something good follow it. I've never heard somebody say, who's going to pay for it, and something good follow it, because these are the same people who, whenever we send money to Ukraine, says, well, we should have that money to help our own. Hey, we should have that money, man. We should use that money to help our own, and yet we can't agree to feed our children? Put politics and religion aside just for a minute, okay? Yes, I'm a bleeding heart liberal. No, I don't believe in your God, okay? But are you going to tell me you don't want my five-year-old kid to eat? I don't believe in your bullshit either, okay? But I, I'm all for your child eating in school. All for it, 100%. I can disagree with you all day. I can think you're an imbecile all day long. I can think you're a snowflake all day long. I can write songs and poke fun at you all day long, but I want to see your kid eat. I want to see your kid get a good education. I want to see your kid grow up and prosper in this world. I hope they, they deconstruct from a lot of the bullshit you fed them. But nonetheless, I want them to be fed in school. And I can't believe this is even a conversation and just when I think, well, you know, Tim Burchett can't get no worse or 
or Marsha Blackburn can't get no worse. John Reagan says, hold my beer. I probably don't even drink, but hold on a minute. Let me ask the big question here. Where's this money going? What a, what a flaming, flaming moron. I mean, just, just off the charts, but what, but on, on the upswing here, we do have Gloria Johnson who is running against uh, Marsha Blackburn for state Senate. Uh, she's one of the Tennessee three that they attempted to expel back earlier this year. And all they really did was make a superstar out of her. I had the pleasure of interviewing her on my podcast, If These Hills Could Talk. If you've not heard that episode, go listen to it and check it out. And you'll hear, you know, a school teacher who spent a career teaching children and knows about what children needs in school better than anybody. And um, I read that she was ever bit as appalled as I am at the lunacy of, well, does, do children perform better when they're fed? <sighs> yeah, that's a real story. Um, thanks to my good friend, Helen, who just got my blood pressure worked up. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate the, <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, the help, and I, I appreciate when people share stories with me and bring stuff to my attention because, you know, we do need to continue to raise awareness on things going on, and we need to let people know what it is they're voting for. The main thing that I want to say to people so often is this, you know, we live here in, in the Bible Belt of Tennessee and we're brought up and taught a certain way, but we've got a bunch of hypocrites leading the way. And we've got a bunch of people who are using, that, that's my biggest beef is they're using uh, the flag and they're using the Bible and they're using Christianity and they're, they're using children as political wedges and stage props to just make themselves richer. Because I don't know why this is such a hard concept to understand. I really don't. I, I graduated from a from a poor high school in southeast Kentucky with like a 2.5 grade point average, okay? And I just know that if you actually give poor people money or working people money, they spend it. These representatives that are worried about wasting money, it's because they're wanting to find out how to make themselves richer. And if they can keep you looking down on the guy that got the box of fudge rounds, well, then they can laugh all the way to the bank at your expense.